Hi, boys and girls. How are you? This is your coach, Noel, and I'm so excited to be working with you today on this math lesson. Parents, I want to welcome you. Boys and girls, let's go ahead and get started, okay? So what we're doing today is we're factoring and we're trying to figure out all the different ways that we can multiply in order to get to a particular number. So here we have the number 11. And it's highlighted because it's a prime number. The only way we can do it is by multiplying 11 by 1. And that's it. And the only reason I have another one here is because I just switched the numbers around. 11 times 1. That's it. 1 times 11 is 11. 11 times 1 equals 11. That's a prime number. Let's take a look at number 12. We've got several ways. So 1 times 12 equals 12. 12 times 1 equals 12. 12 times 6 equals 12. 6 times 2 equals 12. 3 times 4 equals 12. And 4 times 3 equals 12. Okay? Let's take a look at number 13. The number 13 is also a prime number. I can only multiply 13 by 1 in order to get 13. And all I did is I switched the numbers around. That's it. Whoops. I just switched the numbers and, that, and that's it. This is a prime number, okay? So let's take a look. One, 1 times 13 is 13. 13 times 1 is 13. Let's take a look at the next one. Ready? 14. 14 times 1 is 14. That should say 1 times 14 is 14, 2 times 7 is 14, and 7 times 2 is 14. Let's take a look at 15. You ready? 1 times 15 is 15, 15 times 1 is 15, 3 times 15 is 15, and 5 times 3 is 15. And that's it for today. Okay, boys and girls? Great. So. You're doing an outstanding job. Remember, I'm very, very proud of you, and I know your parents are proud of you as well. Parents, I want to thank you so much. Boys and girls, we'll see you at the very next lesson. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.